I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. Hey. Let peace stress free, let it be. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a ring haul of all the rings that I got and also how I'm going to be resizing them because I based my size off of like a few sizing charts and they were all the same on all of the charts so I just ordered all the same size rings for like my fingers and then the same size for like my pinky, my thumb, whatever. But it turns out I can't measure for shit because <laughs> it was just all inaccurate and now all my rings are too big. So I'm going to be showing you the product that I got to try to resize them and telling you how it works out. Also, yes, I am blonde. I got it dyed last week while my mom was here. I will put the video right here if you want to see it. I put everything all in one. So I had my graduation, my mom visiting, me dyeing my hair. Me getting my nails done. I also wanted to wait to do this haul until my nails were done up because they're so pretty and I wanted to do this while my fingers were looking like all pretty. So <laughs> got a few like really good quality rings from Etsy. Some of them were birthday presents for my parents, even though my birthday hasn't happened yet. They were like early birthday presents. So shout out to them. But I got some really good quality ones. I also got some really good quality ones from like stores that were a little bit more expensive. And then I got some like cheaper costume jewelry ones, and you can definitely tell the difference. I'll be talking about it more in the haul, but yeah, I just wanted to start off by saying that there's definitely a difference. But I'm also not planning on wearing these like all the time. I just want to start wearing rings because whenever I see people wearing rings, their hands look so pretty and I want to have like my nails done and like pretty rings and everything, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe that's stupid, but I wanted to get into rings. Before we get started, if you like this video or you find it helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below so that I know. So if you end up liking this video and you like watching videos from me, then feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss more videos like this and from me. And finally, after watching through the whole haul, be sure to comment down below which one ring was your favorite throughout the whole haul. Only pick one, please. <laughs> but I want to know which one is your favorite, so comment that down below. All right, now we can get started. There's a lot of rings, but I'm going to try to go fast. Okay, let's start with the ones that I got from Etsy first. I also have all the shops linked down below where I got these from, including the ones that are like stores and not just like Etsy shops. So yeah, I'll have those linked down below in case you want to go find any. This first ring is from Gymnasium Co. on Etsy. And actually, really funny story because I posted on my Instagram story like, hey, I want to start getting into rings. Can anybody give me good recommendations? And people were giving me ones like Pandora and like Amazon and stuff like that. But the girl who actually makes these rings for Gymnasium Co. actually DM'd me on Instagram and she was like, hey, um, I make rings on Etsy if you want to check it out. Here's my like store. So I went and checked it out and I found a ring that I really, really loved. So I got it. So this is the box that it came in. It's just like a cardboard box and it has a little butterfly stamped on it. And then this is the ring that I got. I got all silver rings because I mostly wear like silver or like white gold jewelry. I don't really like gold. So it has like a butterfly charm on it and it's so cute. And it's like one of those like wire rings. And I love butterflies. So I fell in love with this one when I saw it and I just like had to get it. And it was so nice. She also sent me like a bag of like gems and crystals and stuff, which are so, so pretty. I don't know what all of them are, but they are so pretty and I love them so much and I just, I don't know, that was just such like an extra thing that didn't need to be added, but I am so appreciative of it and I loved it so much. I have them all like displayed on the side of my bed right now. <laughs> the next ring is from Papers and Passions on Etsy. This is the box that it came in. If you can see, it says like, thank you, and it just has some like washi tape on it. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't actually see if that's focused. But these actually came up in my Etsy suggested because I was looking at a bunch of rings and I thought that this one was so, so pretty. I love baby's breath so much. I know it's just like a filler for like other flowers, but I think it's so pretty. And this ring, I don't know if it's gonna show up well cause it's like clear, but it has like a circle and then it has like clear like the, what is it called? Like resin, it has the clear resin in it, I'm pretty sure. And then it has like baby's breath pressed in there, which is so, so pretty. It's so cute, again, silver and I don't know. It's just so like dainty and cute. Love it. And then these last three rings from Etsy were all from my parents for my birthday. So this first one is from Aspire Creation and this is actually one that sent me. I requested like a size chart thing and they sent it to me and I measured my finger according to the size chart and it's just way too big, but it's still super pretty. So it's like this silver kind of like big-ish ring and then it has like the Gemini symbol on it because I'm a Gemini, obviously. Obviously, if you didn't know that, it's not obvious. But yeah, I'm a Gemini and this is the box that it came in, just like a nice like red velvet box. Oh my God, a cloud just covered the sun. Okay, this lighting is gonna be all over the place. That's okay. So these next two are from Caitlin Minimalist on Etsy, I did say that these were from all from Etsy. This is from Caitlin Minimalist. These are the boxes that it came in. It just has like the little heart and then it says like Caitlin Minimalist. And then it just pulls out and the ring is inside. And I have two of them because I got two rings. And then they have like little instructions on like how to care for your ring and all of that so it can last as long as possible. And then inside there is a little like velvet 
dust bag thing. It's like so mini, it's so cute. So this first one from Caitlyn Minimalist just has like Roman numerals around it and it says 26, 26, 26, which is three 26s. And that's because my birthday is May 26th, my mom's birthday is October 26th, and my grandma's birthday was July 26th. It is really cute and this is like a really like durable ring. It feels like, like heavy weight, but not like heavy, if that makes sense. Just like durable. I don't know how else to explain that. And then the second one from Caitlyn Minimalist is actually another Gemini one, but it's a little mini Gemini one. So it kind of looks the same as the other one, but it's very, very tiny. And then the Gemini symbol is very, very small. This next one I got is actually really, really good quality. It's not from Etsy. It's actually from the store Little Rooms, which they have such cute rings, but they were a little bit more expensive. So I only got one from there, even though I wanted like 10 of them <laughs> but it is just this like band and it just has dinosaurs like black little dinosaurs a bunch of different ones all around it and i think that that is so cute i don't know why i like fell in love with this one and of all the ones that i looked at and wanted and had in my cart this was the one that i ended up getting this one fits on my finger really well i thought i got the wrong size on it but it fits. I honestly can't even remember what size I got. Oh, and this is the box that it came in. And then the next ones I got, which are also really, really good quality, but they're a little bit like daintier and like tiny, are from Girls Crew. So it just came in this little like pink drawstring bag that says Girls Crew on it. I actually found this company on Instagram as I think I did with all of these companies because I was searching rings so much that a bunch came up on my like explore page. So I just found a bunch of them that I really liked. Yeah, I said this is the bag it came in. Inside it's like divided. So there's one ring on one side and one ring on the other side, which I think is cool. I don't know. The first one I got, it's just this really pretty, it's like a blue, it's not like blue opal. I don't really know what it is, but it looks like a little like blue gemstone. It just it has these like little like flower things on it. I actually got this to match this one blue dress that I have and it matches it perfectly. And then the other one that I got is another butterfly one so it just has these like silver butterflies on it but one of the butterflies is like like di not diamonds obviously but like little fake diamonds and it's just so like simple and pretty so yeah those are super cute moving on we have two from holly dolls la which i found on instagram i did end up canceling one of my items without being like hey it's out of stock would you like to get something else for the same price or anything like that which i thought was really odd they just like refunded me out of nowhere and didn't give me a reason why and then when i went to go check on their website and be like oh maybe it's out of stock or something it was still in stock in my size that i had ordered um so I don't really know. And then I also emailed them about it and I was like, hey, that's kind of weird. Why would you do that? Uh, and they never emailed me back. And it's been like two months. Yeah. <laughs> it was really pretty. It had like suns and moons and stuff on it. Anyways, the other two that I got are also cute. So this is like the packaging that it came in. It's just like plastic, nothing really special. It just has a piece of like cardboard that says the name on it. This first one that I got just has like peace signs on it and it only has it around the front, not on like the back. So then when I have it on my finger, you can only see it in the front. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I got this one to fit my pinky, but it fits my other fingers really well. <laughs> and then the second one just has like little cutout hearts on it. You'll see it better right here. I did definitely get this one to fit on my pinky and it fits on my fingers pretty well also because i spent like a certain amount of money i got a free gift they were having some like sale thing so i got this free necklace it has like a little purple butterfly on it it's really cute i'm not gonna put it on right now but um it has a gold chain and i don't really wear gold jewelry but it's still really cute i like the purple and maybe i'll find something to wear the gold with and just not wear any of my other silver stuff <laughs> I just don't like mixing metals for some reason. I don't know why. Last but not least, we have the cheapest but the like trendiest, most Pinterest rings of your life. Oh my gosh, there's such a like reflection from the bag. So these are from Every Jewels. It's like E V R Y Jewels. And apparently, according to their like TikTok and Instagram comments, people were also having problems with these ones. I only had one issue, and that was with the sizing. I did base my sizing off of their sizing chart. Theirs was the one that I went off of like the most. And like the first one that I actually came across, like sizing chart wise. And then I got them, realized they were too big, checked their website, and they don't offer any exchanges or returns for like money or like store credit or anything like that. Because I just wanted to exchange them for the right size. I didn't want to like get rid of them. That was a little bit annoying, but I emailed them seeing if they could like make an exception. And I was like, I would hate to not be able to wear them. I really like them. You know, I really want them. I just, your sizing chart was wrong. It's literally not even my fault. It's your own fault anyway um, and i was like would you be able or willing to make an exception and they were like no i'm just stuck with giant rings which is why i had to find a solution to make the rings smaller so i got kind of a lot from here because these were actually really inexpensive the oh okay the bag that it came in is just this like nice like kind of like jelly 
reflective bag i don't know so the first one that i got from every jewels just has a bunch of like cut out smiley faces kind of like the cut out peace sign one but they're smiley faces which is cute i don't know i just feel like i'm gonna look down at my finger and like remember to like be happy maybe <laughs> next one i got is just this like yin and yang sign which it actually matches my shirt that's so funny <laughs> but yeah just a little silver yin and yang like kind of a big like statement ring i guess and then i also got this one it's like a starburst one so there's a little like star jewel in the middle and then there's just like a little starburst coming out of it literally just like hold on look at how much bigger these are so it's on my finger right and it just falls off <laughs> i really really love this next one because pink is my favorite color so it just has these little like light pink and dark pink hearts going around just the front it's not like on the back or anything and i actually got this one to go on my thumb but look it's even too big for my thumb it just okay okay it, it just fell off i just did it anyway there they fell off okay yeah see it's even too big for my thumb which is insane this next one i got is also pink but it's gold and i only got it because i really really liked the thing in the middle and i didn't want it gold but i didn't have a choice so it just it's kind of like the starburst one it just has this little like pink flower like a smiley face flower it's so cute and it has like a little starburst but like flower burst i guess coming out of the flower in the middle this next one is actually the whole reason that i wanted to start getting into rings because i saw this one on pinterest and i was obsessed but i was like i can't just get one i need multiple you don't wear just like one ring and it is this like big kind of chunky one and it says rich bitch on it i don't know why i was so like drawn to this i liked it so much and it's just so like it kind of looks like a class ring to be honest but i really really like it and then i think i got this next one to get free shipping but i kind of like it it's just really like cute i guess i don't know um it just says fuck off on it and i thought it would be funny to like if i wear it on my middle finger and i'm like you know <laughs> yeah i just thought that that was cute okay the sun just went away again so that is all the rings that i got for right now i'm sure i'll be adding on to my collection in the future over time but for right now that's all i really wanted and all i really need so really quickly i'm going to show you this product that i actually got from amazon to help resize your rings and make them like fit smaller i have a fear of like the ring getting stuck on my finger i think that that's the most terrifying thing ever because just i like panic so much when that happens and i just i don't like that feeling of like being like stuck for some reason it makes me feel like claustrophobic i guess but like not but like kind of i don't know so i guess i'm kind of happy that they're a little bit big and then i have to put this on to make it like tighter because i can always take this off even while it's on if it gets like stuck or something i actually can't remember what these are called but i got them on amazon i'll have them linked down below if you want to go get them for yourself but they're basically these like spiral things yeah i don't know if you, is it focusing i think you can see that so they have three different sizes they have this like really big thick one and then this like medium one and then this really tiny one and that is for the different like thicknesses of your ring so like this like big thick one would probably go on these like really thick rings the medium one would probably be best on like these like medium rings and then the smaller ones would probably be best on all of the like smaller rings that i got with like smaller bands so basically you just like start the spiral also kind of hard with nails just kind of like start the spiral around the ring let me give you a better view hold on take the back of the ring and you kind of just open up the beginning of the spiral which i think is like the hardest part probably <laughs> okay and then you just hook it around and then you can just start twisting it and it'll like go onto the ring one by one and then you can try it on and see like if you need to add more i think that's about all i need for my fingers but i'm gonna go through and double check on all my fingers to make sure so then once you have it where you want it, you're just supposed to go and snip it like that. And now I have a ring that fits me and this is like hardly even noticeable. And it's like super comfortable on your finger. The only other thing that I can think that this would be a problem is if you're you, like touching dirt or something where it would get like stuck in there. So I would just be aware of that, but it's probably really easy to clean, I'm assuming. And then you just have the leftover little coil to put onto other rings. And the pack comes with like so many of them. So unless you have like a bajillion rings that don't fit this should last you through like a good amount of rings so yeah that's all the rings that i got like i said before and that is the little spirally thing that i got to resize them hopefully you liked this video and hopefully you found it helpful if you're looking to resize your rings or if you're looking for some new places to get rings hopefully i could inspire you to check out some of these places that i got my rings i would advise getting like sized at a jewelry place if you've never bought rings before i would advise getting sized 
somewhere so that you know what size you are instead of just relying on like measurements because I just used like a little like measuring tape thing and measured in millimeters and I was very off. I was like two sizes off on my fingers. So <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching this ring haul. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to see all of these rings and to see any new rings that I get. I'll be posting pictures of them, obviously. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below so that I know. And also, if you want to see more videos like this and from me, then feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss those. Also, leave a comment down below of which ring you liked the best out of this whole haul. Because I have a few favorites. I honestly can't pick one, but I want you to pick one that you liked the best. Or two, if you really can't pick one between like two of them. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!